All right, in Top Talkers today, we're talking about Supreme, Supreme Court judges as they will hear arguments on the constitutionality of the prostitution laws today. It comes after an Ontario Court of Appeal ruling last year that struck down the criminal code ban on body houses. The appeal court ruled the ban endangers sex workers by forcing them to work outside. Our panel today will uh, weigh in on this. Rick Gibbons and Allison Sandor, both from CFRA and Connie B from Magic 100. Good morning, Rick. Uh, it's the oldest pr profession. It doesn't seem like we are winning uh, the battle against prostitution. Is it time to allow them to have a zone? Well, I'm not sure everybody <coughs> is trying to win the battle against prostitution. Hmm. There's a certain element of the community that agrees with it, a certain element of the community that applies their trade in it. I think what the Supreme Court is doing today it's being asked to look at those elements of the laws that currently restrict prostitution and do those laws in effect create a more dangerous environment for sex trade workers. That's really the approach they're taking right now. If the court agrees that these particular elements of laws that exist right now do in fact create that harm, they discard those laws, we could see uh, an opening up of the floodgates, I guess, uh, for prostitution in Canada. Allison, uh, how do you feel about the uh, chance that there could be body houses legally operating in your neighborhood? I think that if we're looking at it from the standpoint of the law, then I, I think that prostitutes right now don't work in the safest environments. I mean, I personally don't think prostitution should be legal at all, but that's besides the point at this, at this time. I think that if there were body houses, at least there would be somewhere that they would go that they could be safe mm -hmm. rather than a dark street corner that said no I don't want a body house in my community <laughs> right uh, Connie uh, d d Allison I think alluding to the fact that there's an issue here in the law where actually prostitution is legal just um, solicitation. solicitation or even talking about it like making the deal yeah. is illegal is that the problem that we've left an ambiguity well, I mean, it's saying you can have it, but you can have it, right? Mm. So it needs to, you know, the law needs to come together. And, you know, if, if these women, um, you know, want to pursue this profession, but in a manner that, you know, keeps them safe and it's legalized, I'm all for it. Mm. I, I don't think you're ever going to have people agree on this subject. You're either going to disagree with it or you're going to agree with it. Uh, uh, even if you're a, a liberal thinker on this side of things, what about it in your neighborhood? Because that could be well, that, happening. You didn't ask that question. Well, I'm asking you now. <laughs> well, how, um, you know, down the street. I don't know if it would work in Barhaven. Right. <laughs> in suburbia. I think you'd be surprised about really? people in Barhaven <laughs> who go to. Oh, hey, right, still, right. Still. No. Um. Rick, is that the problem that the law hasn't hasn't made a clear cut answer on prostitution? Well, I think it has made a clear cut answer on prostitution. We maybe just don't like it. Mm. It operates in the in the shadows, and in terms of laws, it operates a little bit in the gray zones right now. But the issue is one of safety. And, and, and whether or not there could be a brothel in Barhaven, I mean, we, we have zoning laws that would take care of that particular issue. I, I, I don't think people need to worry tomorrow that, uh, you know, their housing prices are going to right. crash because a, a brothel is set up. But there are people out there who would be very quick to move into this trade. We're already hearing about, you know, people who own uh, these kind of enterprises in Nevada where it's legal. Mm. They come in here very quickly and set up because they see a real opportunity. If, if A if growing market. Yeah. And if, I mean, if you look at, at some of the statistics from Ottawa, I think it was a couple years ago, at one point, they had six unsolved homicides of prostitutes. Mm. I mean, some uh, three of them, I think, now have s someone who's been charged in them. But that's a scary figure when you look at the, the number of homicides in Ottawa in total, which I think last year was seven. Hmm. I but, mean, but to some degree, that speaks to what the Supreme Court's being asked to exactly. look at. Exactly. The conditions shows, under which these women operated may have contributed. Exactly. I mean, how scary is that, that they have to, this is their livelihood, and they have to do it in the shadows. I mean, if you look at Vanier, not the safest place, and that's where we hear a lot of them are. If, if they had a place to go to, maybe it would cut down that, that risk of them in that dark corner being hurt. But I think, you know, it, we have to look to countries where it has been legalized, and they do have, you know, th these... You know, places of Red light districts where, yeah, or where whatever. they can go, and, and it works. It functions, and you know, granted, in in Europe, they seem to be far more liberal-minded than they are here. But I think that's if, if we're going to go with this, that's the model. Yeah. At the end of the day, I don't think this is a legal question. No. I think it becomes a political yeah. question. Uh, the, the court may have something to say, and if it strikes down laws, I think you would see Parliament move fairly quickly uh, to recreate laws that would, you know, withstand a, a court challenge. At the end of the day, this will be decided in Parliament, not in the Supreme Court. If they, if that happens, and and they re, like approach uh, the legality of prostitution again, and just say prostitution is illegal, do you think that would work? 
is legal? Is illegal. If they just made the act illegal. Well, I'm, I'm not sure what you mean by work. Would that end prostitution? Oh, no. No. Yeah. No, prostitution will always be out there. It, we're just deciding the terms under which it operates. Interesting. Should pro now we have soliciting prostitution is illegal. Prostitution itself is not technically illegal. Should it be? I think it should be. I think prostitution is demeaning towards women, and it's just an excuse to get mo to gain money. Hmm. Go get a job in the workforce. I know Walmart isn't that appealing, but at least you have your. Modesty. <laughs> uh, it doesn't pay that well, though. <laughs> no. Comparatively, right? I think that's what, what uh, we're facing, yeah. that these impossible forces. So uh, look out, Barhaven. I'm okay. just kidding. You're I don't want to be. I, I'm just joking. <laughs> we'll talk just about kidding. That later, huh? Zoning laws, zoning <laughs> laws, as Rick said, will probably take care of that. Well, we'll keep an eye on it and make sure we're watching out for what goes on with our legal system. That's what it's here for. Thank you to my panel. Thank you very much for joining us today on Top Talkers.